Greetings and welcome to Demonic Angel Gaming. I'm your host, Demonic Angel. Here I am with another Madden 22 online regs match against the Cincinnati Bengals. This is my first match on. Oh, come, you gotta catch the ball, bro. Like that was right to me. It's my first game on this night, and I just wanted to. I came out of the practice room. I was like, you know what? Let me just give it a shot. I was undefeated up until this point. I was 4 0 on uh, this particular match. And uh, as you can see, my stick skill on defense is basura, trash, <laughs> just non existent. I didn't know what was going on early on in this first drive. He was just taking my ankles to places I didn't think they should be. Definitely didn't want to be, be getting shook out of my boots the way I was this whole freaking game. I, I got to give it to him, man. His, his stick, look at this here. This just don't make any sense. <laughs> Tackle him. Like, what is going on here? I, I tried to tackle the computer, couldn't do it. It was terrible. Here, I, I messed around and messed up. And ran commit, which he didn't run the ball until like maybe the third or fourth quarter when he was trying to run the clock. So I don't know. I'm, you know, trying to figure somebody, first, figure somebody out in the first drive. Pretty, pretty difficult. So here I am. You know, that's pretty much one of my bread and butter joints right there. Didn't work out at all. This play. You can see it works, right? Like, the guy catches the ball, throw it straight to him. Just remember that for later on in the video. I don't understand what the heck happened later on. But as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much struggling. Um, in contrast to what he was just doing with the ball, just running up and down the freaking field. And as you also can tell, I have Jimmy Garoppolo in the game. Not any yeah, like, yeah. He just wouldn't get it done. <laughs> so I had to give it to my boy. Trey Lance, man, it's time to move on with the future. Jimmy, we thank you for your services. I really enjoyed you being here. You helped us out. Got us in the Super Bowl and then some championship game. Nothing but love, man, but it's time to move on. If he doesn't get traded and he stays on the team, here we go. Talking about bringing Lance in, and this is what he does. He throws a dead pick. <laughs> but if Jimmy Garoppolo does stay on the team, it is what it is. Now, I'm not going to be upset that he's still on the squad. We still got Lance, just in case Jimmy goes down with an injury, he gets traded, whatever it may be. But I'm not sitting here like the rest of these people. Um, a lot of people on Twitter that I converse with, they definitely don't like Jimmy G or they don't like Trey Lance, one or the other. It's like the fan base is divided. Me, I like whoever plays with Corey Young. That's just how I'm doing. This guy in the sticks, man. like I, I couldn't tackle him. It didn't matter. Um, I, I just started playing as I get a nice little sack right there. Nick Bosa finally gets off and creates some damn pressure. Now we got him on his heels. Get his ass. Hit him again. So, you know, it's like we're starting to slow down and get a feel for what he's doing. I didn't make the proper adjustments. Okay, so right there, I don't know if you noticed, the target little icon wasn't there. It's not there either. That, I didn't know that Cincinnati, that's their home field advantage. When they throw the ball, you can't see the ball is there. So I was afraid to click onto the defender and try to catch the interception. So I didn't want to take myself out of position, and then he catch the ball in the score. So that was really difficult. There's a few times when I should have had easy interceptions, like the first play of the game, which it didn't come into effect then. I, for some reason, he just didn't catch the ball, and I pressed the train. But, um... That really messed up my judgment on defense because I wasn't able to take as many chances. Again, he catches the ball. And Debo's doing what Debo does, breaking tackles and getting extra yards. But um, I wasn't able to take chances on the ball like I wanted to because I just didn't want to risk it. You know, I didn't take myself out of position. To the score. As you can see, this, this game is pretty close. I'm struggling a little bit on defense. He's pretty much got me boxed. And I thought I had a nice little pass right there. I didn't like the animation I got from IU. I don't know why he just kept running like that, but good defense by him. I can't get that. Can't catch everything. Here he is, taking advantage of my poor defense. I did not make the proper adjustments until pretty much later on <laughs> to what he was doing. Like, I, I caught on to what he was doing. I just didn't make the adjustment. And because of that, his men kept getting behind my zones, which I was calling the right zones, you know, to stop and combat what he was doing. 
just that uh, I had them playing too close to the line of scrimmage, and he was able to take advantage of that pretty much throughout the whole game. But uh, I like how my defense made adjustments. You know, I started off slow, and uh, all the way up until like, later in the game when I actually started to move the ball with some type of effect effectiveness. You know, um, this was this was a tough game. Like, Drew definitely has some skills for me. You know, like I, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning every game I play. And that's why I go to the practice mode, try to figure stuff out. Here I am throwing another pick. Thankfully, he jumped out of bounds, so that helped me see. Dude's wide open. I'm like, come on, Trey Lance. Don't make me put Jimmy Garoppolo back in. But the problem was they had whole field advantage, like the momentum bars all the way up on their side. So um, the screen was shaking. I'm trying to get in the end zone right there before the end of the half. I ended up taking my three points. You know, I'm like, I got down there. Let me at least come away with something. It's the end of the half. I get the ball anyway. So let's go, you know. So now I figure out, like, he's not defending the flats. I keep sending my running back out there, and he's pretty much just eating that wheel. And throw another interception. <laughs> like, I couldn't stop myself. It's like I saw the things weren't open, and like, here I am still just chancing it and doing dumb stuff. Like him, chancing it and doing dumb stuff, and we finally get a damn interception. I don't know how he got through six people right there, but he should have got blocked by somebody. And here he is again. I'm on defense, I'm on offense, and still can't move the ball. It just doesn't make any sense. Finally, <laughs> we get a damn pass to my man, I and we get a touchdown. So now we done cut the lead into the lead. It's 10 to 16 now. Doing pretty good. Holding him. He's just got all day in the pocket. I don't know why I wasn't sending people in. And there he goes taking chances. Again, when he gets interceptions, he's got all types of green right in front of him. Me, I got 12 different dudes in front of me. I can't go anywhere. Get off me, little man. Most of out there doing what most to do. And now we're we trying to get some stuff moving. Ayuk is like number one right now. He, he hasn't made any adjustments to try to stop him. So I'm like, all right, I'm down here, I'm down six, in the red zone, I gotta come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown, but if it doesn't happen, then it just doesn't happen, I'm not gonna force it. And his defense gets real stingy. What the? I did the play twice already. And it worked the other two times. At least he catched the ball, I don't really care about the yards, but what type of pass was that? I ended up just taking my three. Another one, should have had a pick. Balls right there. But he had me, what, 16 to 0 or 16 to 3? And now we're down just three points. Started the fourth quarter. Like I said, we're catching on to him. I still didn't make the adjustment to bring my defender further back into his zone. My fault, Diamond Olinoa. That was my bad. Got you looking kind of shaky out there. But I knew what was going on. And he's not just going up and down the field like he did that first drive. He's still shaking me as <laughs> he catches the ball, but we definitely making it more competitive. It's all about just containing them and not letting them do that. Well, <laughs> so much for me making a comeback. But I'm the type of person, I'm not giving up to this four zeros. Down 10, two minutes, I got all three timeouts. Time to start working the sideline saving these time but you know what you do when in doubt let's go Kittle over the middle baby he puts the burners on and he's gone down three again after a nice long touchdown pass to George Kittle nope you're not doing that run again buddy now it's time to start using these timeouts clock management he does the very smart thing he doesn't throw a pick he doesn't throw it out of bounds he lets the clock keep running no one's open, because if he does throw the ball, I'm picking that baby off. He knows it. Thankfully for him, he didn't fumble. I he certainly was going for the strip. He, he definitely wasted a lot of time off the clock. He was trying to throw it again, didn't want to throw a pick. Takes the sack. Not a safety. Smart man. Can't get mad at him. Like, his situational awareness was, was definitely on point. So now we got one more chance. No timeouts. 
ball at about the 46 yard line. And Trey Lance goes straight to Kittle up the middle. We're in field goal range. Bare minimal, we're going to tie the game and go to OT. Nice little run play. I want to clock the ball. It was at this moment he he missed it. Ah. Yeah, wrong play. Look at Debo. Wide open up there. I meant to spike the ball. I did the fake spike by accident and didn't know the animation. So the left receiver was square, the right one was circle. I wanted to throw to the left by pressing square, but that was the wrong receiver. Debo was wide open and I threw a pick. So close, so close. I definitely had that game in my hands. And oh, it, that, that one stunk. <laughs> it definitely stunk. Well, uh, thanks for watching. You know, I, I definitely got his name. It's what that person, one, two, three. I'm gonna send him another, uh, another invite one day and, and try to get a rematch, man. Because I definitely should have won that game. Well, good game by him. And again, thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I definitely interact with people that watch my videos, and I thank you for you investing your time in me. Take care.